This is how to move data down using a dropdown. I have other videos showing how to move data across sheets and even across spreadsheets, but there's always been requests of how to move data down instead of across. Obviously you could use sort functions, which you've explored before, but sometimes you just want to move it down. That's what we're looking at here. Here's the data set I've already compiled. I just have a date, a task number, and a status. My statuses here are new and complete. Really simple. Since I'm going to want the, the data to move when I change the dropdown, we're going to use an on edit script. So let's open up the script editor, which I already have open, but you get to it from extensions, app script, takes you to this window. And when you first open up, it just says function my function. We want to delete that. If you use that or go inside of it, it's it just doesn't work right. So let's start with a function on edit. Since we aren't going to be using any other services, we can just use the basic on edit trigger. I don't need to use the installable one. Now we do need to pass it some parameter. I call it E for edit or event. You can call it whatever you want. Just make sure you're consistent throughout, but E is pretty standard. This includes a lot of data about the edit that occurred, the cell that was edited or range that was edited, the sheet that was edited, what the value was, what the value is. We need that. So if someone tries to just run this script instead of just letting it run automatically, we want it to fail and tell them. So if not E, throw do not run from editor. Great. Now I'm going to make a new function. Let's call that move data down and pass in that same E parameter so that it gets all of that data. Function move data down. Great. First thing I want to do is make sure that the edit occurred at the correct place. The correct place here is anywhere from C2 through the end of column C. The way I like to do that first is to declare a constant of R equals E dot range. So that's the range that was edited. If R dot row start equals one, so if we're editing the headers, or R dot column start is not equal to three, return. So just quit. If we didn't edit the correct place, just quit. There's another way this could be written, which is the inverse same logic, just written inverse. If r dot row start is greater than one and r dot column start equals three, then do stuff. So logically, these two statements are the same. This statement says if these things are, if this is true, then quit. This one says if these things are true, then do the stuff. But logically they come out the same. I just prefer this one because it quits the script faster. Now that we're this far in and we're actually ready to do stuff, I'm going to declare const source equals e dot source dot get active sheet. So that actually gives us the sheet that we're working on, not the spreadsheet, not this whole container just the sheet. Okay. Now I need to get the row that the edit occurred on. There are two ways to do this. Let me show you the, the spreadsheet app dot get active dot get range. So if I have this range, I can use offset, which is one of my favorite ways to do it. So offset takes anywhere from two, to four numbers. I normally use the four number version because what that gives us is how many rows to move over, how many columns to move over, how many rows to get, and how many columns to get. So how I like to do this is R dot offset. How many rows? Zero. How many columns to move? Negative two, because we're starting at column C and moving two columns to the left. So that's a negative two. How many rows do I want? One. How many columns do I want? Three. Does that make sense? We're staying on the same row, so don't move any rows. Move over two columns, and we're moving to the left. That's why it's negative. 
we're only returning one row and we're returning three columns. Now I can say move to, where I want this to move to is source, same spreadsheet, dot get range. The range I want is source dot get last row plus one. So there's currently 10 rows. It's gonna put it to row 11. It'll create that for us, don't worry. So get the range of the last row plus one. And we want, this actually takes the same signature as this offset. So row, last one, column one, number of rows one, number of columns three. Now, if I save that, this should run every time I make an edit. Let's go try that. So I'm gonna mess with this one and just change the status of task 362, date 616, 2024 to new. It did exactly what we want. See, so it left everything else in place and it put that row down here at the bottom. All right, obviously one more thing, we just need to delete this row that it came from. I just wanted to make sure that that part was working properly. So then all we need to do is source dot delete rows. And the row we want to delete, all right? So spreadsheet app dot spreadsheet dot delete rows. It just asks which row position. The row position is R dot row start. The same thing we used up here. That's why I declared this R constant is because I knew that we would be using it several times. Save that again. Now let's call this 691 complete. Look at that. So not only did it move it from row three to row 11, or actually it moved it from row three to row 12 and then deleted the blank row three. And we can try that as many times as we want. New jumps down, new jumps down, complete jumps down. Perfect. So this is a really, really simple script that once we've determined we edited the correct location, all we needed to do was get the row where the edit occurred, which I used offset, moved it to the very bottom, and then deleted the row where that came from. We could have also used, instead of offset, we could have done source.getRange. The row would be r.rowStart. Column one, number of rows one, number of columns three, and the same move to script. So again, lot, these would do the same thing. I just prefer using our offset when I already have, when it's this simple, when I'm already on the row, when that's what I'm dealing with, I just prefer using r.offset instead of source target range. I feel like it's a little bit more efficient in terms of scripting. So I'm going to leave it like this. You can use the source stock get range version if you want. Uh, and there are times when that is more necessary. But since we're just moving something from the same row all the way down, this is all we need. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was useful for you. Please like, subscribe, share all those social media things. As well, you can connect with me on email, LinkedIn, Twitter, slash X. I try to be active here in the comments as well as on the Google product forums. And if you do have a larger project that you need help with, with App Script or anything related to Google Sheets, please email me. I do provide private consultation and contracts as needed.